Okay, so now you're going to go to insert shapes and you're going to click on the square and draw a square into place. And then you want, when you release it, it's going to pop up this um, format tool. So you go in and make that a two. The next thing I do is you're still in the format for the actual shape. You go over to shape styles and go to shape outline and I made the shape outline gray. And then I change the weight to one to two and one fourth, but you're gonna see me go back and change that in a moment. And no feel. So that way I can see what I'm doing. So you only want to copy it three times. I copied it six times at first, but you only want to copy it three times. And I'm gonna show you why. Um, you're gonna delete those, and so when you have these three, you just highlight everything and um then copy all three of those and then put them side by side. It just makes it a lot easier. And use your grid lines, guys. So now you have a setup. Now, the outsides are a little thick, so I selected everything and I made the shape outline to be um, one and a half. And so now we're ready to add in pictures, okay? So then you wanna go to your pictures and then I go to my recipe folder and then we're just gonna select um, the six of the photos that you want to use. Okay, so now that you have all six of your photos in place, it's still picture tools up, and you see that there is a size option right there at the bottom, and then there's this little drop down arrow. So you want to click on that drop down arrow, okay? When you click on that arrow, then you want to go to lock aspect ratio relative to original picture size. You want to click that until it is empty, just like that. Um, and then I'm going to change um, the height to 2 and the width to 2 and it's going to automatically change my pictures for me and then I can just place those in now with the longer pictures I'm going to change some things up about those but but the rest of the pictures that are normal sized um, regular pen pictures or regular pictures from a website you're good to go so with my two long pins, you want to um, reshape them and then you want to crop them. So go up to crop and make sure it changes um, there. And now I have a nice um, picture and then you can change it back to a 2.2 because I've already taken off the relative to um, size. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this dirty rice one pot meal um, and I'm going to crop it I had to make it a little bit smaller so I can work with it but anyway we're going to go to crop and hit that middle one and drag it up and then we're going to change the size back to a two by two and put that down at the bottom so now you have your six pictures here um, you can save it as a JPEG and then you are ready to um, print now if you like the longer pictures then you can do this go in and insert another a new slide then delete all of the insides out just like we did before add in another shape and change it to a three by two okay so so that it'll be up and down and then you're going to do the same thing go to your shape fill and put no fill in your shape outline and go with your gray color and go with the weight of one and a half and then you're going to copy it once drag it down below or to the side then copy both of those and add it to the other side okay and then you're going to go and insert some pictures and I just to make mine look different I am going to um, have multiple uh, sizes throughout my recipe booklet just because I want to so then you're gonna um, once you've inserted your pictures you want to go to size you want to take out the lock expert ratio until it is clear in the inside then you want to change your height to a to a three by two um, picture 
and then you just want to and I made them two by threes but if you make them three by twos they should go right in but I had to rotate my pictures but it's not a big deal so then you're gonna rotate your pictures or go ahead and just place them right in and as you can see that's the easiest thing to do guys so make sure you click that size and lock expert ratio make sure it's clear and then change it to whatever size your boxes are and so now I have um, two photos that are ready to go um, and all I have to do is cut them out and put them in my recipe book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep God first in everything you do. Do not forget to click that subscribe button and plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.